Monsieur Nola, please. Yes. Monsieur Nola. Yes. Inspector Girard. Please, well, what's all this about? Do you recognize it? I sure that. That's my wife. Where'd you get it? It was found in a taxi about an hour ago. Oh, I see. That girl, she, she must have dropped in the way to the casino. <laughs> you know what that's worth, don't you? Two hundred thousand dollars. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing? There's no need to worry, Monsieur. It will be quite safe. Well, what do you mean? Where, where are you going? Your wife may collect it any time tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow? Say 10 o'clock at headquarters. But, but, but we're pulling out at midnight. I'm sorry, monsieur. There are certain formalities. Such as? A recovery fee, reward, fixed by the government at 5%. 5%? You're kidding. If you think I'm going to... Sorry, monsieur. I cannot argue. Now, if you'll excuse me. Look, look, look. Hold it, hold it. Okay. Gotta pay, gotta pay. Will you take a check? Monsieur. Then cash. Will you take cash? Five percent, that's ten thousand dollars. Elite robbery. Please, monsieur, I could not accept, uh... Can't you? But we'll see. It would be breaking the law. Ten thousand, we said? Two. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. But, monsieur, I require her signature. Signature, a passport. Passport. Does that take care of the formalities? What formalities, monsieur? <laughs> That's the kind of a cop I like. Take it, Harry. Ah, monsieur. Ah. Pardon, monsieur. Your wife's calling Mr. Nolan from the casino. To tell me that she's lost her brace. Uh, stay and have a drink. Not on duty, monsieur. Most likely. George, could you send Harry over with some cash? I've had a bad run. Not in your life, Merle. You just cost me 12 grand. 12 grand? What are you talking about? Where's your bracelet, honey? My bracelet? It's here. I'm wearing it. You sure? Sure. I'm looking at it. Harry, quick, get her! This is what I call living. First class and champagne. <laughs> Beautiful girls and a great big bankroll. Which reminds me, my, uh, mm -hmm. the green stuff, where's my money? Didn't I tell you? Did you tell me what? I invested it for you. You what? Oh, no. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. It's just the stake I needed. Do you play cricket? Who wants to know about cricket?
Behind that smile lives a devil You can't tell, he hides it well But deep inside him he revels in the game he plays The lion's share is what he's after But you forget before the wine and midnight laughter Soon as he says hello Mr. Jericho Beware my friends I'm warning you Behind that smile is a devil You can't tell He hides it well But deep inside him he revels In the game he plays The lion's share Is what he's after Oh, but you'll forget Before the Thank you, Mr. Jericho. Sweet eight. Thank you. Double four seven five. <laughs> Look at it. The place is full of tourists. There must be some sucker who'd love to buy a gold mine. Mr. Jericho, phone call for you, Mr. Jericho. Yes? Dudley, my dear friend, I was so delighted to hear of your arrival. Rosso, hello. Rosso? Are you staying long? Well, you know me, Rosso. I'm never sure. Here today. Well, before you go, come up to the villa. <laughs> well, that's very civil of you, Rosso. You just say when. Would uh, two o'clock suit you? Uh, well, not really. It's just a bit... Well, it does suit me. Uh, now, look here, Rosso. Two o'clock, my friend. Wire from Zurich. The Frank's 11.6, the Deutsche Mark's 9.5. Call Grinwald. I have. He's selling Frank's, buying Sterling. Very good, Miss Gray. Oh, Miss Gray, I'm expecting a visitor, a Mr. Jericho. Jericho? Yes. No friend of mine, but uh, I find him amusing. You may, too. Really? Why? He could have been a millionaire by now, but he has scruples, <clears throat> like you. What's he doing here? If I know Jericho, he's looking for a sucker. <gasps> Take a look. That cost $2,000 of our money. It's paste. It's a fake. You expect the real thing for that price? It's a genuine copy of the famous Gemini diamond. Gemini? Yeah, there used to be two of them. One of them got lost and it's never been found again. So what's your bright idea? Simple. We exchange this one for the real one, and that's the one we sell. <laughs> It's not just the money. I want to take Rosso. Why him? Secret ambition. Done. Rosso's a smart operator. Every man has a weakness. Stands to reason that every man can be conned. Now, Rosso's weakness is he wants that other diamond. <laughs> he wants it very badly. I've got a secret longing, too. What's that? To get the heck out of here. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, great. He's built himself a fortress. The name is Jericho. I'm expected. Hey, why don't we get out of here, huh? We're in, aren't we? Mr. Jericho. If we're being formal. If we're not, it's Dudley. If we're being really intimate, we're it's... We're not. Mr. Jericho's here. I'll be straight out. You're Rosso's secretary. Well, now, who did you imagine I was? No, Mr. Jericho, I merely work here. Dudley! <laughs> My dear boy, it's good to see you. Hello, Rosso. What's wrong? You look worried. You're smiling. That's enough to worry anyone. <laughs> you haven't changed. Come in there. Let's have a drink and tell me how you are. Quite a place. You like it? My taste? Mmm. And everything. I'm glad you approve. Sit down. Of course, you can buy anything. But not you, eh? You know, there is something lacking in you, my boy. A real dishonesty. <laughs> I do all right. Of course you do. What are you up to these days? A little business here and there. Holiday, following the sun. <laughs> the sun? I was hoping to do a little business with you, Rosso. Oh, really? What kind of business? That other Gemini. What do you mean, that other Gemini? Well, you have one. And you once said you'd give half a million for the other. Ah, oh, yes. Well, it was lost centuries ago. It's been found. <laughs> it's a trick. I know coming from you, it's a trick. <laughs> Let me give you a drink. <laughs> All right, it's a trick. Jacob, what are you trying to pull? If you want it, I know who's got it. If you don't, say so. Would I lie to you? Yes. Where did you hear about it? In Paris. But I can arrange shipment. How much? Oh, you put a price on it, half a million. Cash deal in dollars. That would take a couple of days. No hurry. I'm on holiday. What is it, Miss Gray? New bonds have arrived. I'm just putting them away. Jericho, don't, don't stand there. Come and sit down. Thank you. Tell me, you've seen it, the other stone? Oh, yes. It's beautiful. As beautiful as this? No, leave it, Miss Gray. ever tried to steal it? Oh, yes, they tried. And? Come. I'll show you. I'll show you my guards. All expert marksmen. Open the door. <laughs> Special contact point, see? All right, Philip. Then, there is still the combination. 
And if someone should break that, the trouble really starts. I'll show you. I'm not boring you, am I? I'm rather proud of this. It's simple. You lift the diamond... And it beams a radio signal which seals the room. Exactly. And the room can only be opened from the outside. Watch me. Break the circuit, Miss Gray. You mean to say with all that, somebody actually tried to steal it? Yes. A South American and his girlfriend. What happened? It's funny, I'm not sure. When I heard the alarm, I uh, took a trip abroad and was away for three months. Want to know what I found when I got back? <laughs> I think you need that drink now. You know the old phrase, to make a buck, you've got to risk a buck. Mm-hmm. Dud. Yeah? I love you like a brother. You want me to be left an orphan? So we're poor, who cares? When I met you, I had ten bucks, you had nothing. But not for long. True, five minutes later, you had ten bucks and I had nothing. Look, do me a favor. Forget Rosso, it's too risky. Here, give me that, will you? I'll do anything you want, anything you say. Turn the radio on. Have some music. Music you want at a time like this? jamming device. Blocks the radio signals. And if it doesn't? Tell my friends, no flowers. One, two. So far, so good. That's just the window. genius. Why? This is just the job. Get the stone. Double four seven five. Yes? Oh, Rosso, it's Jericho. Ah, what is it? I've got a problem. You might call it uh, running expenses. I need an advance, say uh, $10,000. 10000 All right. When can you come up? Should we say... Uh, 11 o'clock, okay? Yes. Here we go. Good luck, Dad. There is no other kind. Come in, Jericho. 
Now, you want an advance? I want your passport. Passport? Call it uh, security. Do you really think I'd do you out of a measly $10,000? Oh, heaven forbid. I'm just being careful. Where would I go? I'm doing business with you. Anyway, as you said... Angelo. I... Sorry about this. Ah. Here we are. Funny I should have it with me. Where's the cash? Right here. All right, Angelo. About face. I know you can read a combination at 20 yards. <laughs> Thank you. You think I'd chisel you out of a few measly dollars? Heaven forbid. I'm just being careful.
what he said was on the right. It's on the left. What is left? It's right. Miss Gray. What is it? From Paris. What kind of business? Oh, yes. Extraordinary. Good night. Get it? Thanks, pal. What's going on? My very question. You came here last night, did you not? Huh? And you persuaded me to part with $10,000. I told you what that was for. Transportation. Transportation. From Paris to here. Right, it's on its way. Extraordinary. You see, I had a phone call from Paris early this morning, a Mademoiselle Claudine Lucette, and she told me she had the diamond I want. If you ask me, someone's trying to con you. I think I know who it is. I promise you, I have the genuine article. And what's she got? Ask her, not me.
Yes? Miss Lucetta's calling you from the airport. Put her on. Yes? Oh, Monsieur Rousseau, ici Claudine Lucette. Je suis arrivée. Je vois bien, mademoiselle. Euh, je vous attendais plus tard. Prenez un taxi à mon compte. Je vous réserve une chambre à l'hôtel Phénicia. Ça va? Bon, parfait. À tout à l'heure, mademoiselle. Euh, tenez, je vous passe ma secrétaire. Will you reserve a suite at the Phénicia for mademoiselle Lucette right away, please? Yes, Mr. Rousseau. She has arrived. Now we shall see. I hope you can make dinner tonight. Of course. Angela, open the door for Mr. Jericho. Don't be too hard on her, will you? Mr. Jericho? Oh. Can I offer you a lift? Uh, no, thank you. I got a can. You won't find one up here. Oh, well, then I'll walk. It's a six-mile walk. Oh. As much as that, eh? What do you say? <laughs> type to be mixed up with Rosso. <laughs> Neither do you. I admit I'm no angel, but I must say some of Rosso's business. Oh. He was right, you do have scruples. Haven't you? They're a luxury I can't afford right now. I don't believe that. What could you know about me? We've only just met. French dame. I'm going to find out. Claudine Lucette. Oh, yes. A sign here, please. Have you a safe? A safe, madame? For my jewels. Oh, yes, yes. We have a special vault for all our guests. Wait, please. Sweet seven.
Well, what did you find? Her name's Claudine Lossette, and she did fly in from Paris. Think her dime is genuine? Not a chance. Then what's she up to, like? I don't know. It could be fun finding out. Well, what are you doing here? Well, for one thing, I happen to live here. No. Mm -hmm. Way up top, the poor quarter. I thought Rosso was generous. Well, he is about some things. Now, don't forget, you're invited to dinner tonight. Yeah. Wish I had the choice. Well, he's sending a car for you and Miss Lucette. That's very cosy. I was just going to try and break the ice with her. No, she's having a bath. Don't bother. Oh. Well, perhaps I could persuade you to have a drink. Well, you don't know until you try, do you? I suppose Rosso has told you about me. Yes, he has. He told me you were a con man. True? True. Isn't it some sort of a crook? A crook? No, I'm just someone who's learned to live by his wits. I've never robbed a bank or anything like that. It's hardly necessary. People will fall for anything nowadays, won't they? I've fallen for a few lines myself. I promise I won't throw you one. I really must go. Hmm? Now, you won't forget about Rosso expecting you tonight. No. Carl will pick you up at 7. Right. I'll be ready. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mademoiselle, <laughs> that's <laughs> astonishing. Your accuracy is remarkable. <laughs> You'll never name this one. Oh, no? <laughs> Well, the district? Oh, this is far too easy. I went to school a few miles from there. It is Apernay, south of France. Right. Ah. But now the vineyard. Oh, the vineyard. Hmm. Ah, it is far too sweet for a vis. And a little too dry for my touche. Hmm? So I think this is... Of course. This is from the vineyard on the banks of the Marne. Chateau Vinay, huh? Correct. <laughs> and the year? Well, it's an excellent one. It was bottled when I was so high. A little monster with white stockings and pigtails. 1952. Correct. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. Jericho, we are in the presence of that rare combination, beauty and intelligence. I'll second that. Uh, now, Claudine, uh, I have uh, deliberately avoided the subject of business. It ruins the appetite. But now I'd like to hear about the other Gemini. Wouldn't you, Jericho? I would indeed. You know the history, of course. Vaguely. Well, it is rumored that they were a gift from Philippe, the second to Isabella. She was so beautiful. You know, there's a picture of her in the Louvre, and it seems that during some war, one of the stones was lost, and it turned up in Paris about a week ago. And I represent the dealer. <laughs> it's extraordinary. Don't you think so, Jericho? I'm absolutely flabbergasted. Mm? Why so? Well, you see... Allow me. You see, Claudine, I think the time has come for you to know that our friend Mr. Jericho here has also offered me the diamond. The other Jaminet? <laughs> yes. But it's impossible. I brought it with me from Paris. It's in my hotel safe. But is it genuine? Absolutely. Well, one thing I know, there aren't three. <laughs> I have one. And, uh... Well, let me show you. Yes. My Gemini's in here. And I can promise you that no one could sell me a fake. And I can assure you that mine is real. I mean, it's so simple to tell, isn't it? I agree. Of course. One drop of acid, and if it's glass paste, you'll see what happens. Well, there's no need to demonstrate. No, no, I'd like to show you. can affect the real diamond. <laughs> Imagine. Claudine. Yes, darling. 
You'll never palm Rosso off with a fake. I agree. So don't you try. You are so very attractive. It would be a pity. Would you drop me off at the next corner, please? But the hotel's further on. I have some business to attend to. Now back up. You heard what I said. as quick as you can. What's up? Something go wrong? Cast your expert eye on that. Don't tell me it's paste. Yeah. I don't get it. You swabbed, didn't you? Yeah. You don't seem too sure. I could have sworn I did, but I was interrupted. I goofed and I returned the wrong one. I'm going back. Yeah, but how will you get in?
Please. All right, ask it. What was I doing at Rosso's? He got my passport. I was hoping I'd get it back. And did you? No, his drawer was locked. And of course, you arrived. How did you get in? I got in. I'll ask you a question. Why didn't you tell Rosso? I don't know. Is that part of your overall plan? I'm flying out of here in a day or two. Can I buy an extra ticket? A trip with a con man doesn't sound very promising. When I've done this deal, I'm through. passport. Maybe I can get it for you. No, it's too risky. I've got enough problems. If you're trying to con Russell, please don't. He's very dangerous. Now promise me, please. I'll promise you one thing. When I get out of here, you're coming with me. Did you get it? I shouldn't bother. What? How's your blood pressure? Fake. But I promise you I swapped it. I promise you it's paste. Hold it. I think I've got it. Now, Claudine got out of that car in the town. What about it? I was just guessing. But supposing she went back there before me, she had the time. But how'd she get in? If I could find a way, so could she. That girl? This is a crazy thought. Have you heard of Georgina? Georgina, sure, a great con girl. Do you think she... Now, look, I'm only just guessing. But who else could have brought this off?
Ah, can you tell me where Mademoiselle Lucette is, please? She's gone to the beach of the hotel. And where's that? It's over here, sir. Down on the left. I see. Thank you. You're up early. Oh, well, you know what they say about that early bird. Catching the worm. Oui. You like it? My costume, that is. <laughs> you don't really need it. Oh! I meant the costume is incidental to your beauty. Ah, compliment. That is nice. Not the first one, I'm sure. Is the first from you? You left so early last night. And? I was planning to lure you into the moonlight. Must you have this moonlight, hmm? Not at this time of day. Something wrong? No, nothing. The time. What is the time? Oh, I must go. Oh, no. Yes, I have booked a call to Paris. Oh. You will wait. I will not be very long. Of course I'll wait. You make your call. I'll hang on. Au revoir. Au revoir. My bag. Ah. You're not usually late. I just went to pick up the mail. You don't seem yourself, Miss Gray. Am I, uh, am I working you too hard? No, no. Perhaps you ought to relax more. Please. <laughs> you and Jericho would make a fine pair. He has scruples and you have principles. <laughs> Forget those letters. Take a couple of hours off. Go and stun yourself on the beach. I might do that. Sorry, Dudley. I was cut off, and then I had to wait for hours. Don't worry. No, I must apologize. Then apologize. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, no, signore. Your key. Uh, sweet eight. Uh, Thank you. 
I really appreciate it because I have these things and I just started smoking these kind of cigars. Oh, yeah? They're hard to get, you know. Oh, are they? Really uh, hard. Uh, here we have yes. the light. Oh, yes. Easy. You ever tried anything like this? No, I don't They're smoke. marvelous. They're even a... Oh, that's too bad. It's hard to get. Oh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> yes. Hard to get them through. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, the worst. Genuine. From Havana, too? No, no, just skin I picked up. Yeah, I say, have you seen leather like this? Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, yeah. I thought yes. you might still like to see something. It's very, it's very pretty. pretty. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. And I just started smoking this cigar. Pretty. You know you ah, oh, yes. You got a, yes. Are you in the hotel business a long time? Well, yeah, two years now. Ah, oh, yes. yes. You got a marvelous chance. Thank you very much. This oh, is it. Sue! Sue! Get this back, but careful. Stop. Why not just run me down? I was asking myself the same question. Well, what's all this about? Well, I got the afternoon off, so I thought I'd see you. And I went down to the beach, and I saw you with that girl. What's her name, Claudine? Let me explain. No, don't bother. I'm sure Mr. Jericho can talk himself out of anything. Turn the key? Yeah. Fine. You seem upset. Is it the girl who works for Rosso? Hmm. She spotted me at the beach. Oh, that's too bad. Well, at least we've got the stone. That's all that matters. Hello? Jericho? The money is here. Come over as soon as you like. Be sure to bring the stone. Ah. All packed? Yes. Rosa has just called. The money has arrived. I'm going up to the villa. I wouldn't if I were you. Oh? That stone you've got, that's just, uh, that's just paste. <laughs> it's a funny thing. I was just coming to tell you the same thing about your stone. That's very thoughtful of you. You take my word for it. Yours is just a fake. I know. Oh, yes, I promise you. Huh? Well, shall we put it to the test? Why not? Have you got your stone? Yes. Georgina, the great Georgina. Well, how did you do it? Oh, that would be telling. But in our game, all is fair, huh? Well, uh, who shall say that I'm not a good loser? <laughs> no hard feelings? No. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm going to Paris. There's still time to buy another ticket. No, thanks. We'd make a great team, you and I. What time is your plane leave? At six. Hmm. Half a million dollars. And no one I'd rather spend it with. I'll think about it. That's obviously the case for the money. Do we follow her to Rosso's? No, we're going to head to the airport. Signor Jericho. It's your passport. And the tickets. What's Miss Gray's number? 104. With that car of ours, we'd better move. at last. Thank you, Claudine. You've made me a very happy man. And now I have a plane to catch. This is fantastic. Absolutely identical. Every cut, every facet is the same. Oui. Au revoir, Monsieur Rosso. Won't you stay for a drink to help me celebrate? Oh, I would love to, but there is no time. Au revoir. Angelo, a bottle of champagne. I couldn't let you go without saying goodbye. You are so sweet. You too. Darling, you do need that moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you come with me. No, not a chance. Ah, oh, is there someone else? She must be very beautiful. She is. And you can say no to all these? You can have whatever's in that suitcase with my blessings. Au revoir. Au revoir. Dad. OK? OK, the plane for Mexico leaves in two hours. Good. Book another ticket. Who for? Who do you think? Susan. Oh, Susan. Susan. Allow me.
Grey, 104. Yes. The girl was, eh? Russell's men were just here. I saw them leave. They took Claudine. Claudine? Susan, they're the same girl. The great Georgina. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. It had to be. Of course. Who else had access to the vault? Let her go. Such an actress. Such versatility. I like that in a woman. It appeals to me very much. However, this appeals to me more. What's this? Well? I, I don't understand. It was there in, at the airport this morning. You fool, why didn't you check it? How could I, Rosso? Where is it? I have no idea. Well? We have an excellent cure for a bad memory. Guard! 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 I've got a very urgent note for Mr. Rosso. Got it? Got it. Let him fall. Whoops. Whoops. Don't be foolish. Where is it? Where is the money? I told you. I don't know. Wait. I have another idea. Not very large. The air may last an hour, maybe two. Suffocation can be extremely painful, my dear. Oh. Rosso, let it go. It's all here. No. Better go first. What's she to you? What's she to me? I planted it here. I planned the whole thing from start to finish. Now let her go. Now, Rosso, you can do anything you like to me, but let her go. I have no intention of letting either of you go. Angelo. The case. The case? <laughs> Get the car! 
What's this? The great, great Georgina. And the superb Mr. Jericho. I was there too, you know. <laughs> now to go back, when I first swapped. I'd already swapped. Well, when were you invited up by Rosso? No, I took no chances. I swapped back. What about the second time? Well, Susan, I was there ahead of you. What about when I finished your key? I saw you, and I made another switch. You really are the greatest. No, I had a fair advantage. I was there on the inside. Does it matter? No. You know, actually, Mr. Jericho, we make a fantastic team. And I'll be yours for a lifetime. Let's hope it's not a short one. Put your foot down, Wally. Down, it's on the ground already. coming from? We've got troubles. Dad! Yeah? Either we slow up or we blow up. Get the tires. So it's the only way. Oh. All right. It's coming. It's everybody. woman of me. <laughs> That's the only way I see it. Well, in that case, 
Oh, Georgina. Well, we couldn't throw it off to the wind, could we? Done. No, indeed. My girl must have a true sound. Thank you. Here's to Mr. and Mrs. Jericho. straight. Jericho, my name's Jericho, Mr. 